Democrats and Republicans. The two parties have dominated the American political landscape for most of our nation's history. But what does it mean to be a Republican or a Democrat? Today we will be exploring the following questions about our two most popular political parties so you can get a better idea on what they stand for and which aligns best with your ideals. How do they differ? Where did they come from? What are their positions on major issues we face today? And most importantly, how can you decide which party best suits your ideals and personal needs? If you would like to discover our world in a meaningful way, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey. A quick explanation to understanding the difference between Democrats and Republicans would be to look at a simple political spectrum. It can't explain everything regarding the two parties, but it can give you a general idea of their main philosophies. This is a simple political spectrum. How does it work? In a nutshell, the farther left you go on the spectrum, the more government control you want for society. The further right you go, the less government control. Most Americans are near the middle of the spectrum, meaning their beliefs can fall on either side of wanting more or less government control, depending on the issue. Traditionally, Democrats can be found just to the left of the center and Republicans just to the right. There are many other political ideologies to the left of Democrats and right of Republicans, but they are often seen as too radical to win elections here. Their ideologies too unbalanced to be effective. Democrats believe government should play a bigger role in helping Americans live their lives. They want more government regulations in business and would like the government to spend more money on social programs that are designed to ensure that the basic needs of the American population are met. Examples of social programs Democrats support are Medicaid, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistant Program, better known as food stamps, and housing assistance. Republicans believe the government should be smaller and play less of a role in our lives. They feel that businesses should have the freedom to do what they want without interference from the government. They also feel that traditional social values should be protected, such as making abortion illegal and restricting marriage to only be in between a man and a woman. It is important to point out that most Americans don't agree with every Democratic stance or every Republican stance. As individuals, we often lean in different directions dependent on the topic. Some choose to join a political party based on a couple of issues that are especially important to them. Others take a more big picture approach. There is no wrong answer in choosing a party to join so long as it supports your personal values. For the economy, Democrats support a minimum wage for workers and often seek to raise it. They believe in a progressive taxation for Americans, meaning they believe the rich should pay at a higher tax rate. They believe the government should have more regulation over business. Democrats feel the need for more regulation to protect employee rights in the environment and to make sure the work environment is sanitary for the health of the employees and the customers. Republicans believe taxes should not be raised for anyone, even the rich. They want to keep the government small, which should require less money. They feel a minimum wage is less necessary and that an employee's wage should be set by their value in the free market. They also advocate less business regulation, increasing business profits to help the overall economy. Republicans prefer increased spending on the military. Although it breaks from their values of less spending, they believe a strong military is needed to protect American values and our way of life. Democrats prefer less spending on the military. They would rather spend some of the money allotted for the military to help with social programs such as Medicaid. An often cited reason for less spending on the military by Democrats is that the United States currently spends more than the next 10 highest spending countries for military budgets combined. Democrats are pro-choice and believe that abortion should be legal, even though each Democratic candidate has their own opinion on the limit to the abortions. Republicans are pro-life and oppose abortion with a few exceptions. They believe life begins at conception and that the child's right to life is more important than the woman's right to choose. Republicans are against amnesty for illegal aliens. They often call for funding for border enforcement to make it more difficult for people to enter the country illegally. They cite the need to keep our country safe as a reason for the need to strengthen border control. Democrats, on the other hand, have shown more support to put a hold on deporting people who are here illegally and have called for offering a pathway to citizenship for some undocumented immigrants, such as those who have been here for five years or more and don't have a criminal record. 
Democrats support gun control. They would like to make it more difficult for people to buy guns with stricter background checks and government regulations. They have expressed a desire to ban certain guns that are seen as too dangerous. On the other hand, Republicans are serious about defending their Second Amendment right to bear arms and generally do not support any laws that would limit that right. Republicans oppose universal health care provided by the government. They believe private health care companies can provide health care services more efficiently and support a person's right to decide their own health care needs. Democrats support universal health care and push for government involvement in health care, including the funding for Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare. The Republican Party, also referred to as the GOP or Grand Old Party, was founded in 1854 to oppose expansion of slavery into the West. The first Republican president was Abraham Lincoln. Under his leadership, the Union was preserved and slavery was abolished. There have been 19 Republican presidents in American history, the most of any political party, including the current president, Donald Trump. After 1912, the party underwent a shift to the right of the political spectrum. Following the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, the party's core base shifted, with southern states becoming more reliably Republican in presidential politics. While it isn't accurate to say everyone in the following groups of people are Republican, Republicans do hold a majority in people living in rural areas, men, the silent generation, white Americans, and evangelical Christians. The history of the Democratic Party can be traced back to Thomas Jefferson and James Madison's Democratic Republican Party. The modern day Democratic Party was founded around 1828 by supporters of Andrew Jackson, making it the world's oldest active political party. Fifteen Democrats have served as President of the United States, the most recent being Barack Obama. Before 1860, the party supported limited government and state sovereignty while opposing a national bank and high tariffs. In the early 20th century, it supported progressive reforms and opposed imperialism. Since Franklin Delano Roosevelt and his New Deal in the 1930s, the Democratic Party has promoted a social liberal platform. Not everyone in the following groups are Democrats, but Democrats hold a majority of people living in urban areas, women, college graduates, millennials, and minorities. As you may have noticed, the beliefs of the two parties do shift from time to time, so it is important to keep track of who stands for what today. As we've mentioned, there's no wrong answer when choosing a political party, so long as it best lines up with your own personal values. Do you feel the government should interfere with our lives as little as possible? Should our country work harder to protect our borders by spending more on border control and our military? Do you believe taxes should be lowered or that the right of a child's life is more important than a woman's right to choose? If so, you may be best served by Republicans. Do you feel that the government should work to meet the needs of the entire community? Should the government create programs to promote equality for all, regardless of race, ethnicity, national origin, religion, gender, or sexual orientation? Should the government regulate businesses to ensure a safe work environment and offer universal health care? If you agree, you may be best served by Democrats. Regardless of your political leanings, it's important to be actively involved in the functions of our government. Our country is only as great as the involvement of our citizens. Impact our world in a meaningful way by being aware of the choices our country has to make and be sure to voice your beliefs in a productive way. The choice is yours. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.